It's now again. Welcome back to It's Now Again, your daily mindfulness training session. Today we're diving into the world of pop culture to explore the mindfulness messages hidden in one of my, if uh, I'd say probably my favorite show, The Good Place, which I have just finished binging. If you've seen this show, you know it's packed with humor, philosophy, and a unique perspective on the afterlife. Uh, there will be spoilers in this episode, so if you haven't seen the show and you don't want spoilers, don't listen. Um, but beyond the comedy and ethical dilemmas, there are some profound lessons about mindfulness that we can take away from The Good Place. Lesson one is the power of choice and intentional living. At its core, The Good Place revolves around choices. Every character is faced with decisions that shape their lives and their afterlives. Eleanor, Chidi, Tahani, and Jason must constantly grapple with ethical dilemmas, figuring out how to live and improve their moral selves. Mindfulness reminds us that important it's important to be intentional with our choices. Just like the characters in The Good Place, we often find ourselves in situations where we need to decide how to act. Mindfulness helps us pause, reflect, and make choices based on our values and what feels right in the moment. Eleanor's journey is a perfect example of this. Initially selfish and indifferent to others, she slowly learns the importance of making conscious, kind decisions. Her evolution re reflects the power of mindfulness, the ability to pause, notice our automatic reactions, and choose a more compassionate path. Lesson two is impermanence and embracing change. One of the most profound mindfulness teachings is the concept of impermanence. Everything changes. Nothing is permanent. The good place brilliantly captures this in its portrayal of the afterlife. What begins as a seemingly perfect eternity soon reveals its flaws, and the characters come to realize that even in the afterlife, nothing lasts forever. In the final season, when the characters are faced with the, the idea of uh, eventually leaving the good place, they grapple with impermanence in a deep and personal way. This resonates with mindfulness as we are reminded that life is constantly changing and the key to peace is accepting that fact rather than resisting it. In fact, I think um, they even find that in that when they're in the real good place, the fact that everything is permanent in the the original set of rules is what makes life not worth living. <laughs> it, it, they do everything they want to do and then they're bored to tears. And then when they change the rules and allow for their afterlife to end, um, that then gives value again and meaning again. And people, the people who were bored and whose brains had turned to mush um, find that they are reinvigorated and enjoy the afterlife again for a time, uh, knowing that it's not permanent and that eventually they can leave. This impermanence brings a sense of urgency to appreciate each moment, to savor the good while it's here, and to gracefully let go when it's time. Whether we're talking about relationships experiences, or phases in life, mindfulness helps us stay present, enjoy what is, and let go when it's necessary. Lesson three is that self-improvement is an ongoing process. The characters in The Good Place are constantly working to become better versions of themselves. This mirrors the idea in mindfulness that growth is a lifelong journey, not a destination. Eleanor's path from a self-centered person to someone who genuinely cares uh, and someone who genuinely cares about others shows how mindful self-awareness can lead to transformation. Chidi, the philosophy professor, spends much of his time agonizing over moral decisions, which also highlights how mindfulness can help us deal with overthinking. Mindfulness teaches us that while reflection is important, it's equally important not to get trapped in en endless loops of thoughts. Chidi's character arc shows us the power of balance, combining reflection with action, 
and letting go of that fear of making the wrong choice. The show's message is clear. We don't need to be perfect to make progress. Every effort to be a better person counts. Just like mindfulness, the journey of self-improvement requires patience, practice, and compassion for ourselves along the way. Lesson four, connection and compassion. One of the most beautiful messages in The Good Place is the power of connection and compassion. Throughout the series, the relationships between the characters grow stronger as they learn to care for and support one another. Mindfulness teaches us that we are all interconnected. And when we are present with others, we have the opportunity to connect more deeply. Compassion plays a huge role in this as the characters learn to forgive themselves and each other for their past mistakes. The bond between Eleanor and Chidi in particular is a testament to how mindfulness can deepen our connections. Their love grows as they learn to accept each other's flaws and work together toward becoming better people. This echoes the mindfulness practice of loving kindness, where we intentionally cultivate compassion for ourselves and others. Lesson five, ethical living and mindful action. At its heart, the good place is about ethics. The characters are constantly learning how to live better, how to make moral choices, and how to improve their actions. This aligns beautifully with mindfulness, which teaches us to act with intention and awareness, making choices that align with our values. Chidi's obsession with ethics can feel overwhelming at times, but it serves as a reminder that mindfulness is about living in alignment with our true selves and values. When we act mindfully, we're more likely to make ethical decisions that contribute to the greater good, something that shows empathy, um, uh, Sorry, something that the, the show uh, emphasizes again and again. In, in one scene, Michael, the demon turned mentor, tells Eleanor, what matters isn't if people are good or bad. What matters is if they're trying to be better today than they were yesterday. This speaks to one of the core tenets of mindfulness, self-compassion and growth. Mindfulness isn't about perfection. It's about trying to do better in each moment, learning from our mistakes, and being gentle with ourselves along the way. The characters in The Good Place embody this as they strive to improve with each new day, despite their past flaws. Lesson six, finding meaning in the present moment. Another mindfulness message that resonates deeply in The Good Place is the idea that true meaning comes from being present. As the characters grapple with their past actions and anxieties about the future, they eventually learn that peace and fulfillment are found in the present moment. In the final episodes, the characters are given the choice to stay in the good place forever or leave when they feel ready to move on. This presents a powerful metaphor for the transient nature of life and the importance of savoring each moment. The message here is clear. Instead of getting caught up in trying to control the future, we should focus on the uh, the beauty of the now. As Eleanor reflects on the joy of small moments like sitting together with friends or having a cup of coffee, we're reminded of how mindfulness can help us find contentment in the ordinary. The present is where life unfolds and the good place urges us to embrace it fully. Lesson seven, letting go. One of the most touching elements of the good place is the final season about letting go. When the characters realize that eternal life can become monotonous, they're given the option to exit peacefully once they feel complete. This powerful moment speaks to the mindfulness concept of non-attachment, the practice of allowing things to come and go without clinging to them. In mindfulness, we learn that everything has its time and holding on too tightly can lead to suffering. Whether it's a relationship, a stage of life, or a desire for control, the act of letting go is a central theme in the practice of mindfulness. The good place beautifully illustrates this through its character's final decisions, showing us that true peace comes from knowing when to let go and move forward. So the the good place as a mindfulness metaphor, the good place may be a comedy about the afterlife. It may be a stupid comedy with, with, um, you know, really stupid jokes, you know, dumb jokes that are the dumb comedy. That's just fun to laugh at, but it's deeper themes align beautifully with the principles of mindfulness. And this is what I love about this show. It's both stupid, funny, 
and incredibly deep and philosophical. From the power of choice and ethical living to embracing impermanence and letting go, the show offers valuable insights that we can apply to our own lives. By watching The Good Place through a mindful lens, we are reminded of the importance of living intentionally, connecting with others, and finding peace in the present moment. The characters' journeys of self-improvement mirror our own as we strive to be more mindful, compassionate, and aware in our daily lives. So the next time you watch The Good Place, pay attention to the mindfulness messages woven into the humor and philosophy. They might just help you live a more mindful, meaningful life. That's, that's all I've got for today. Um, if you enjoyed exploring the mindfulness lessons in The Good Place, I encourage you to think about how these messages show up in your own life. How can you bring more awareness, compassion, and intentional action to your daily routine? And as always, if you have any questions, you want to hear more about a specific topic, feel free to email it's now again at gmail.com. That's all the letters without the apostrophe. It's now again at gmail.com. And if you're interested in one-on-one -on -one or group mindfulness coaching, please find more information about my coaching at jeremywest.net, where you'll also find the guided meditations that are a companion to this podcast. Stay present, keep practicing, and remember... It's now again.